Oh yeah, there it is. The uh, booze, pot, and tea party politics in the Big East. Yeah, that nice tagline. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I'm in a movie. <laughs> Look. Substance abuse. <laughs> yes. Tea party exposed. Yeah. You're shameless. <laughs> <laughs> What are, wait, what are we doing? All you're going to do is just interview me. I'm the, um, I'm in the movie. I'm this guy. Oh, okay. Great. So, what is your role in the film? Well, I'm one of the Tea Party activists that went down to New Orleans, and um, we went down there to see the birth of a party, which was Conservative Party USA. The main focus right now is to get rid of our socialist president and to um, establish what the Founding Fathers intended our country to be. All right, let's try the 10th. Because I wish you could remember. I can't remember. You're taking advantage of me because I'm stoned. It's my excuse for not being able to find how to register for the convention. I should be ashamed of myself to some degree. But it runs until 9 o'clock, so... I have two hours to figure out which floor to go to. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hi, Alan. Hi, How you doing? it's great to Hi. meet you. So, John, how long have you been active in the political scene? Uh, I think I can say I've been a uh, cradle to now activist in political yeah. parties. Oh, here's the hurricane. The hurricane's coming. So the Bahamas, that's not going to affect us here in New Orleans. Oh, all the tracks show it going right over New Orleans. I'm not leaving this room. Uh, I'm so not leaving play, this room. Do, do not play into the role of the hermit. The hermit? But everything I need is here. I don't see why I would have to go outside. It's 90 degrees with 90% humidity. Why would, why would I go outside? It's a beautiful day. It's hot. That's right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Allie. Allie Great nice to meet, to meet you. you. All right, so what are you wearing tonight? <laughs> Who? <laughs> so what was uh, the thing that got you interested in p politics to begin with? Um, I do think that our country's headed in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the federal government is becoming way too intrusive. A lot of the things that I believe in are being placed under attack today. The mayor pops out a cult. That's, that's the birth of a party we're talking about. <laughs> Struggling in his feet. Like a wildebeest. Covering in the steamy fluid. Yikes. Our film is playing through that little window right there. There it is. It's an entire room full of people who turned out to see this. A lot of people came out actually. It's awesome. So it's, it's over. It started. Let's go watch the movie. All right. The film. It's great to sort of kind of jump into these guys' experiences and uh, kind of party with them. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Really funny. Really funny. It touched me in places I didn't know were inside of me. It was very deep and moving. It uh, greatly increased my interest in uh, politics in general. So are you going to get out there and get active? Uh, probably not. I thought the whole thing was nicely done. Did it inspire you at all to get active in any political party yourself? If that's what a political party is, I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm pretty active in it already. <laughs> Definitely inspired to go get a beer now. <laughs> I thought it was great. I thought it was a really good trip. I thought it was f***ing hilarious. What did you think of the final edit of the film? I, I thought Emil um, totally deceived me. I, I mean, he, he thought that I was going to be... Um, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a, a propaganda film for the conservative party, but it turned into this grotesque hit piece against my character and the other members of the party. It was a disgrace. <laughs>